Hello, my name is Mark Goodman, and I am a current dental student in between D2 and D3 year. I say that because I started my D3 year of dental school, and through several things and reasons that I plan to outline for myself, I took a leave of absence. I didn't finish the semester clinically, but I finished the classes. <clears throat> And I've been on a leave of absence for two, two months now. And it's an interesting place to be because I've never been in a position where I've taken time off from schooling to, for whatever this is, I suppose we should say. And it's a strange reality because the preparation to go back and accepting that I need to go back has been a tough process. Um, just various things that happened previous semester that led to this, led to where I'm at. I guess I should start by saying I want to take responsibility for what happened. I, you know, you have one bad day and then that leads to several weeks, a month of not taking care of yourself and and suddenly you just you look back now and realize how out of touch with reality you were and how you thought that you know like that the world was ending, everything was horrible. I don't think that was the case, but due to various reasons, like I said, I will mention eventually, um, it led to me taking a leave and no one, it's no one else's responsibility but mine. It was a choice that I made and one thing I've realized is regardless of if it was the right or wrong choice, I want to make the most of where I am now. And it's tough to accept that I'm on this leave. I actually want to speak with a therapist about it and because I don't want to fall into the same traps, I want to figure out how to accept where I'm at. And then when I go back, I want to um, I'm just so convinced that it doesn't have to be as bad as it was. And throughout this process of filming my return, of preparing for that, I'll share the things that I'm doing to get ready. Um, and I think the objective of this, of what I'm going to do with these small videos is if anyone else is even in a remotely similar situation where if schooling for them is tough regardless of what level they're at or if they're exactly in my shoes where they have taken a leave of absence and they don't know what to do and all the emotions that carry along with uh, taking time away from school I can't guarantee we feel the exact same way but maybe you know if this can just help somebody to think about and not be worried about where they're at because essentially it is a break and there's nothing that or it's not a permanent situation and I know that we're going back I'm actually looking forward to it and I hope to outline the things that I'm doing to get ready to go back um, outline some pitfalls that happened previously to help both myself and other people who happen to see this. And just to keep weaving the tapestry of life that we have here, it's the a mentor I have right now said, it's not where you're at now, it's where you're at in 10 years. And the goal is to look back at this time in 10 years and say, wow, that was a rough time. It was an uncertain time but it's all part of this thing called life. And I think that's pretty special. Thank you.